So today I'm looking at Tomcat Rodent Repellent. Uh, it's good for mice. Now, I'll say this right now, I am not advocating for this specific brand. This is just the first one I picked up at Lowe's. Uh, I've been using it, it's been working well. However, again, being big on prevention and not intervention, seeing some of the horror stories on YouTube and just talking to other people and hearing some things that they've gone through, I think it's very important to, if not just this one, get something to be preventative. I know there's a lot of you out there who have some experience with this. Whatever it is that you do, put it in the comments. I'd love to know so we can learn more about it. What I like to do when I'm applying this is I like to make a perimeter all the way around the RV. And I actually will get up under uh, the RV. I like to get around points, especially the points that touch the ground because the points that touch the ground is where a mouse can crawl up and get into it, right? I like to also spray around the different entries and exit ways but specifically I like to get up under so I don't know if you can see it here but all the way down there uh, all the way around any point that you can see are soft points right which is really all of it but you want to get all around around the perimeter of it and then kind of walking around and and the way I do it I'll just I'm not gonna spray it right now because I just sprayed it not long ago but you're taking just just kind of spray it uh, that really sounded like a spray but I'll just spray it all the way up under there and get it really good. Another area I like to make sure that I get really good is around the tires. I get all up under the tires. I don't know if you can see it or not. The light's not working in my favor. But any point, again, that's touching the ground, I make sure to get those squared away and taken care of. So another area that I really encourage people to look at, and this particular model, the Grand Design 28BH, is uh, 2800 BH, excuse me. There's two screws right there that you just unscrew those and, and lay the board down. And behind here is the hot water tank should always check back there because those are where some of your pipes are and, and different things. You want to make sure that you are um, keeping that area secure as well because you don't want mice nibbling on that and making life harder on you. The thing that I really want to talk about is the different points that you want to pay attention to. And there's a couple of points inside that I think are very valuable for you to pay attention to in terms of rodents, especially mice. All right, so we're going to go inside and look at the slides uh, just because I've seen some other areas and other RVs and even some older Grand Design models which uh, from my understanding, Grand Design has done a great job of correcting. I know on this model, 2021, I have no no complaints on it in regard to uh, gaps and holes and things of that nature. So hopefully that's something that other uh, manufacturers are fixing as well. So as we walk in, we're looking at the slide right here. And the area that you really want to look at and pay close attention to, let me move the, uh, the light here, is this little area. You see this little square right there? It's like a little square area. You really want to pay close attention to that because as this slide moves in and out, what happens is there's a brief for a brief moment there's a, a gap or a space that has to be there because you have a fixed overall object and a moving object that's going from one point to another and so during that transition there's sometimes you'll see space or a gap that shows when it's in motion that's totally fine what you want to pay attention to is to make sure that that gap closes uh, once it gets all the way out extended all the way out and brought all the way back in because if you don't a mouse only needs a very very small small tiny piece uh, or space excuse me to get in and they can really wreak some havoc this is something that I want to pay I want you to pay attention to that I think is very important because several different brands of travel trailer at one point I've seen even a couple of grand design it seems like they've really done a good job of fixing this issue but a lot of different travel trailers missed the mark in that they have open spaces here uh, that people I've heard plug with steel wool and other other materials that mice would have a very hard time of chewing through um, and there's not many items that they have a hard time chewing through so that's another reason to really pay attention to it uh, but you want to make sure that that's closed up because that can be a real real issue so one of the things that I um, I didn't want to go through just for time purposes but one of the things I do not recommend is that you leave a lot of food stored in your travel trailer and if you do leave food make sure obviously it's non-perishable first but also maybe put them in metal containers things that mice can't chew through uh, don't be fooled by the common misconception that thick plastics will keep mice out you give a determined mouse an amount of time, a space, and distance, and they will do some serious damage. They will chew through it. I've seen it happen before. So if you can, try to get uh, put all your food and anything that might be an attractant to a mouse or to mice, uh, put that in a metal container. It'll be a big, big help to you. Point of contention I really want to talk about is right here. Right here on the, uh, the slide. This little gap, this is closed correctly. However, even that small of gap is wide enough for a mouse to get in and do what they want to do. And so you have to remember, remember those little square pieces I was talking about in the corner? That's gonna be right around here. So you don't wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that this part is secure and sprayed and uh, covered as well, because what you don't wanna have happen is this mouse to get in here and start chewing on that little square piece up 
and getting into your trailer. And so you really want to make sure that all of this is secured and sprayed down uh, and really use the preventative maintenance as I was saying. So again, guys, look, this is just one method, one small piece of what you should do to prevent mice from coming in to your travel trailer. Again, I use the Tomcat. We're still trying to see if it works long term. Understand this is not the only way. Again, this is not the only way, not the only remedy to do prevention practices and prevention measures. I'd love for you all to comment and tell me what it is that you do. I don't mind trying them out. I'm willing to learn. I'm open. I know a lot of other people would like to know as well. I have some other remedies and tactics that work. Hey, share it. We'd love to know. But for right now, this is working well for me, uh, working well for us. We haven't had any issues with mice. And so, um, yeah, it's going well. All right. Take care, guys. God bless.